Um, are we ready to get started? Ready when you are. Officially. Do this. Okay, so guys, welcome to the Mouse Guard RPG Second Edition One Shot. I am AP Gaming Real, and I am joined by Tuxedomus Swargula and Eric Vulgaris, all of whom are entertaining broadcasters. You can find them in in your Twitch by putting that name beside Twitch. Go ahead and just go follow those those fools. Yeah. Get a pop in real quick. I'll remind you at the end because we'll do post show introductions. So once you get to know these folks. Then you can go ahead and do it again, because you'll be like, right now you might be like, who's Eric Vulgaris? I don't know, that fellow, his hair might look brilliant and awesome, and everybody wants that hair. But maybe I don't want to follow him, but by the end of the show, you'll be like, oh yeah. All right, I won. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, won me over. Let's do some introductions. I, I actually don't know Tux or Dama, so let's start with you, Adam. Who are hey. you, where can people <laughs> find you, and what do you do? Uh, I am Tuxtradamus. My name is also Adam. Um, a few things about me. I was Class Bod 2009 of Hudson, of my hometown. Uh, <laughs> um, I stream uh, random stuff. I guess variety is the uh, buzzword to use on Twitch. Um, I've, I've, given, I've given Swagger the giggles. Uh, <laughs> um <laughs> I do um, a lot of RPG stuff too. Like I've been on these guys' streams all the freaking time. Oh um, you can catch me over on twitch.tv slash Tuxtradamus. You can catch me on Twitter at Tuxtradamus. Uh, my YouTube is still the youtube.com slash channel slash blah, 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 thing. So um, there should be a link to that on my, I think there's a link on my Twitch to that. So you don't have to do the whole weird thing. But yeah, that's where I am. That's what I do. And I am super excited to be here. And I'm super excited to play with you, AP, because I've watched a bunch of your stuff and it's super awesome. Well, thank you. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, who are you? Where can people find you? And what do you do? Uh, yo, yo. Uh, my name is Swarg, uh, Sam Swargulo, however you want to call me. Um, uh, that's it. That's That's 90% of it. And um, I do I do a lot of streaming stuff. I do a lot of fifth edition for some reason. I can't get away from it. I worked on a new game, Arthur, and I am like I know I've gone through like five different versions of games of what yep. I wanted to do for a new yeah. one. You said like, sci-fi last time. I heard. I'm like seventy five percent dialed in, and I got a crazy one. I worked on it for three hours today. You want to drop it to us? <laughs> you ready drop to drop it. this? Yeah. Drop yeah. It. Dungeons and Dragons fifth edition, Survivor, like the reality yeah. show. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm I fuck you not. I spent three hours on it, and I am probably going to do it. It will be twelve. No, it will no. be twelve um, players. One voted off each week. One winner at the end, who I will give a hundred dollars to. <laughs> I I have a suggestion, Swarg. Uh, there What's is that? a there is a system for Pathfinder called. Um, it's not dungeon crawling fools. You're gonna make me learn, Arthur. It's not. No. Oh, not I know. What you're, I know. I know what you're talking about. Shit. What's it called? I wrote it down. Yeah, I, know, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's a reality show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, really? Um, yeah. What's I want to learn, called? man. What's it called? I hate learning new systems. <laughs> Don't worry. It's it's so it's hate it's learning. a Pathfinder variant. Oh my god, I can't believe I can't remember this. I don't name. remember the name of it either. It's like Save vs. Crit or something. No, learning's no. for nerds. It's it's the Pathfinder Survivor variant. No, no, it's. Uh, is it called Survivor? Goodman Games, that might be it. I don't remember. Nope. I'm so I close, I just can't remember it. I don't remember. But that's that's essentially the I idea. I know what you're talking about, yeah. They might not get $100. Bam! Thank What's you, God, called? finally. Oh, What's someone called? save me. It's called X-Crawl. It's called Maximum X-Crawl. Let me yeah. explain it to you, dude. Oh, God. All right. All I'm right, okay. Maximum X-Crawl is Pathfinder, and so Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> set in a modern age where Ronald Reagan has become the eternal emperor of the North American Empire. But that's, that's just Seems hilarious. Right. Put it aside. What it is, is is adventuring has been reborn in society. Uh, a talking sword from the past has been recovered in the present day as magic comes back. And it's like, hey, guys, I know how cool dungeon battles went down back in the day. And everyone's like, we should televise this. We could make a really cool reality TV show out of this. And so they do. The GM plays the person in the control booth 
that like moves the dungeon around and right. is like, all right, team four, go in. It's time to engage the bad guys. This isn't the same. No, no. It's but similar. I'm saying you can gather inspiration from it. I could. Because it has an outside structure of to how the, the metagame of it works, like getting contracts oh and endorsements and shit like that. I mean, I'm not going to do that, but yeah. Okay, all right. My, my <laughs> idea... I thought it would be a cool idea. My idea is literally 12 players, right. one dungeon master. I'm going to pretend to be Jeff Probst. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to make fun <laughs> of all the players, and we're going to do... We're going to put on two teams right How off the bat. different than normal? They're going to do a rewards game, just like normal. They're going to have to, like, battle yeah, for the immunity. Weather. For immunity, yeah. right? And then yeah, no, yeah. they get a reward, and then they battle for immunity. And then the losing oh. team gets to vote one of their players out, who which will never be allowed to play again. <laughs> yeah, and that's, like this is going to be really hard to organize, but I'm very interested in seeing it go down. I, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm curious. I'll tell you what, much like most reality TV shows, I'll probably tune in for your first episode to see what it's like, and then I'll tune in for the last episode to see who mm -hmm. ends up getting crushing defeat. It's, I, it's, I mean, I'm see, extremely I, I excited. Have, yeah, I, I'm been, making the I've fan website right already. now. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would love to do that with inspectors. But it's like the same idea, because only only because yeah. inspectors has a confessional mechanic where like there's a part of the game where a player can actually address the audience and make something mm -hmm. true happen or about something else. And I'm very so, curious about that. Actually. Yeah, because that, uh, that's one of my issues right now. It's I'm by sorry. it's by uh, Eric. Are you introducing your stream right now? I'm saying like, who no. are you? What do you do? <laughs> what? And where can people find you? And are you going to be running an inspectors campaign in a few no. weeks? This uh, is what I heard. No, no, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so maybe so my maybe. name's yeah my name's eric uh i'm eric Volgaris here on the internet um i'm a part-time streamer uh mostly variety games uh emphasizing indie rpg one shots uh, i've run a show called once upon a game uh check that out on youtube or, or my channels bods and stuff uh so yeah no i i don't i don't know if i'm doing inspectors yet i don't i don't know probably not it's Do it's it. so it's I don't I'm so busy I don't know if I can but I would I would love to, to if, if you want to know what my idea is though for that show um, I will link it in chat because I actually wrote it up back in September what I wanted to do uh, someday about hacking the game and doing sort of like Twitch's top inspector which is like very similar to like America's Next Top Model or Chopped <laughs> if you guys are familiar with those types of shows uh, that sort of setting uh, so yeah I'm. All I wanted to say was that I, I, I love Swarg stuff, and I, I really think that the game show approach for, for a role-playing game is definitely uh, a thing to do on Twitch. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. So if you are looking for information about all these folks and you're on YouTube, you go down to the description section on YouTube, you'll be able to click on their names or their Twitter accounts and just be like, yeah, what's up? Technology. And I think all of your Whoa. Twitter accounts are actually at your name, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect. Mine's actually at Donald Trump. No, it's not. <laughs> at real Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah. No, that's Sorry, also real, not true. Real Donald Trump. We're going to build a wall, AP. I'm going to make you pay for it. You're not uh, allowed over Let here. me repost that for you, Eric. Boom. Oh, yeah, no problem. Game show hack. That's what I do. <laughs> uh... But in the meantime, I'm super excited about... The mouse territories and mouse guards. Yeah, I bet. So, just let me get my notes organized here. Mice and crap. Let's do this thing. Mice and crap. Is That's else the name of the game. I'm, I'm 20 minutes in right now. Mice oh, and crap. <laughs> You're still listening to that <laughs> like, fucking Scatman bullshit? Arthur. Holy cow, Never gonna stop. Bullshit? <laughs> okay, that was a one-hit wonder that deserves your respect. <laughs> so I think... <laughs> I think kind you give it the respect. I don't think you guys understand. He's the scat man. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> so let's oh, let's wow. talk about Mouse Guard. There's some music playing. Yeah. Audio. I told you I put. See, I thought this was the intro to Night Call. <laughs> and you're, <laughs> stepping, you're stepping up that uh, your production game. What is this, ESPN. What? No, he always has the ambiance. This is just yeah. This is ambient. No, no, no. This is Woodland no, no, no. Campsite. Which you can pick up at tabletopaudio.com for completely free. Damn at Tabletop Audio does a bunch of really cool ambient tracks, all 10 minutes long. And you, by pickup, do you mean just put them on a loop? Uh, I mean, you can download them. Uh, can free. you download them, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Good yeah. time. Tabletopaudio.com. Anyway, <clears throat> welcome <laughs> to the Mouse Guard role-playing game. In this game, you can take on the role of a mouse hero 
struggling against the wild, the seasons, and your own mouse nature. Using the instructions presented in this book, you and a group of your friends can sit down together and play out a series of adventures like those depicted in David Peterson's excellent Mouse Guard comic. To play the game, you'll need two to six people, some pencils, paper, and ten six-sided dice, a copy of this book, which you can pick up on Amazon and also drive to RPG, I believe, in PDF form. Mm -hmm. One player takes the job of playing the antagonist, supporting characters, and the setting and scenery. This player is called the Game Master. The others take on the role of individual guard mice. They are the patrol. The GM's job is to transform the player's guard mice into heroes. How does he do that? By challenging the players with obstacles set in their path. It is only by overcoming difficult challenges and passing through the fire of conflict that the player characters can become heroes. So you might be asking, you know, what is the setting of Mouse Guard? What's going on there? Let me read some more shit for you. In the distant past, mice lived in tree hollows, under logs and in stone cracks, and other wayward forgotten places. They lived scattered across the wild without community or support. They were hunted by predators, subject to harsh weather. They had few supplies to sustain them in the face of calamity. In fact, these mice were far more likely to perish from depredation, exposure, illness, or starvation than live a long, prosperous life. Against the overwhelming forces of nature, a few disparate groups made a stand. They staked a claim on a handful of safe patches of wilderness. As word of these safe havens traveled, other mice flocked to them. The most famous settlement quickly grew from a hiding place to an outpost to a fortification and finally a citadel. Fortified walls surrounding a prosperous town, defended by a dedicated guard. This place is now called Lockhaven, and it is the center of what is known as the Mouse Territory. Now, uh, I thought I'd give my voice a rest for a second by asking my players... What do you what do you guys think of, of Mouse Guard? Like what is your thoughts on the setting? Because I know each of you has played a little bit before and seen it. The setting? Yeah, the setting. You know, mousiness. Yeah, I mean it's <laughs> Redwall red and Redwall is great. So Yeah. yeah. Uh, is, of course. Mm -hmm. It's Redwall, red it's more like anthropomorphic watership down. Like it's mm -hmm. it's awesome. I read the comics and like Legends. Uh, I think it's Tales of the Guard. Is it Legends of the Guard? The anthology collection. Yep. That one. Did you read they, all four of them yet? No, I've only I've read, read the read first one. one. Yeah, I've only read the, the, the one with the dark green cover. Oh my god. Yeah. The the story of the knight. Uh, the, oh, the, the two knights who fight each other. Mm -hmm. Oh no, the arm. Oh, that one's that one's really good. The ones that are like the uh, the, the the fox and the other yeah, ones. The tapestry. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm thinking of this other one though, of um, the armorer who's like not allowed to be a knight or something, and then someone's oh, yeah. like bullshit. And I was like, that that damn. I read that shit in the car to Michigan one time. I like kind of cried for an hour. <laughs> I was like, this is so beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, I love I love Mouse Guard. I love I love the setting. Yeah. I love, wow. In my I inner the, I love in my themes. inner Adam RPG awards, it currently holds the position for most adorable RPG. Yeah. All just right. Look at those frickin', just look at those freaking pictures. Someone has stepped forward and uh, is offering a contest. Uh, Geek Dice in the chat is doing a giveaway at the first player break. Each chat what? member who uses the word mouse in chat will be entered. One chat member will be chosen at random to receive an email gift certificate worth $20 from DriveThruRPG, enough to buy a Mouse Guard RPG in PDF format. Wow. So you can play this so, too. Uh, my question to How my about players that? would be, do you guys want to do an hour break or do you want to do my normal, which is a break at the two-hour halfway mark? Uh, hour. Let's do hour. Hours. Hour break? Sure. Okay. Yeah. So at 11 Eastern, guys, be ready to start spamming mouse and chat at Geek Dice. Prepare that shit. Okay, so oh, yeah. uh, let's talk about making characters. If you have your book open, you can turn yourself to page 300. I gotta get on my reading glasses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, each of you should have a character sheet on the yep. roll 20. What page was that? Uh, page 300. Okay, no big deal. We are going to create characters together. Now, Roll20 has a fantastic artwork-filled uh, uh, character sheet here that Heck is yeah, just really awesome. It's, it's beautiful to look at. Um, we've loaded up Flo here. Who you'll eventually learn who that is and what they do. 
Uh, it tracks pretty much everything you'll need to know. So, for each of you, I'm going to ask you questions, and we're going to fill things out, and then we'll have characters. So, uh, let's start with uh, Eric Vulgaris. Eric, hey. what is your concept for your character? Are you a grizzled veteran, a young upstart, something in between? What's your personality or specialty? Uh, mine is, a, I'm actually going to be playing a mouse called Cranberry. Um, Cranberry was sort of like a high hope filled kind of you know rustic guard kind of mouse uh he's he's very young he he's not he's no longer a tender paw but he he's certainly like uh he's certainly very very fresh and um he's he's kind of realized that being a mouse guard uh is a lot harder and not something he's as good at as he thought he was like he like he grew up <laughs> on the legends and grew up on the stories and actually realizes that he's much better at telling stories and and like d talking things out than actually putting up with the wilderness and seeing monsters. And... Excellent, excellent. Um, I feel like I definitely saw a character like that in the Game of Thrones Telltale Games, where the guy was like, "Listen, man, this isn't for me. I'm I'm leaving." Yeah, uh, uh, I'm interested to see what your your belief is going to be. Uh, Adam, what yes. were you thinking of for your concept? Um, I'm thinking of being the like field field doctor, field nurse kind of mouse that goes out and makes sure people come back alive. Um, kind of like she's smart, like uh, fairly charismatic. I, I, we'll see how the, all the stuff goes, but yeah, I was thinking of, like the making sure everyone stays alive will be kind of her overall vibe. Okay, all right, mm -hmm. and. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, this this Brocephius character is something yeah. <laughs> someone did for my for my show. I was like, listen, I would really love to have my mouse done, and I was like, this is what Brocephius looks like. He's got Aww. a thumbtack with some wood attached to a hilt, and he's got a sweet half cape. He's the best. Um, <laughs> speaking of the best, not that I'm saying Swarg is the best, but Swarg, <laughs> if you are the best, what would your character concept be? Um, what would it be if I wasn't the best? Are they, do I have Why don't you just tell me what your now? concept is in general? Um, uh, my concept is in general of uh, a young, rich, naive, uh, little, little girl. Okay. All right. Um, essentially it. Because chat has a number of artists in it, some of you who are other streamers may have noticed that I have a number of artists who follow me. Uh, they are asking for descriptions of your characters. So I think we should just go ahead and get that out of the way so they can live stream making uh, their their stuff. So let's start with you in reverse order. So what does Flo look like, Swar? So uh, Flo is a young uh, doe. I don't know what that means. I'm a male mouse. I learned something just now. I had to look at <laughs> uh, She is soft brown of color. And um, that is the only descriptor from a mouse I can think of. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's fine. That's I don't know, fine. She's small. She's soft brown. She has wonderfully pink eyes, uh, tender, tender fingers, I guess, because she hasn't worked a day in her life, really. Um, and uh, damn it, Sith Master, I already guessed it. <laughs> and yes, yes, my family, uh, she's called Flo the Progressive. Because my family, uh, <laughs> are, <laughs> they are supportive of doe on doe and buck on buck marriage. And um, they like to be progressive in their views and flow got sent to Lockhaven. Awesome. <laughs> to be safe. Uh, Adam, why don't you tell us about Vera? Sure. Um, Does she have handbags? Is her family <laughs> name Wang? It is not. Okay. She's not a descendant of Taylor's and... Accessory creators. How about um, how about tinkers or soldiers or spies? Oh, of <laughs> um, she uh, is like uh, like thirty or so in mouse ears, which is pretty much similar to human ears in this yep. game. Um, she has like a lighter, lighter blonde kind of fur. Uh, her cloak is a kind of like. Forest green, but a little bit brighter. Um, her right ear, um, like, has a little uh, like 
chunk missing out of it. And her uh, tail is a little bit shorter than like most other mice. I like the, the impressive, like, I want to say deformity or scar that you've listed there because that really brings a lot of character to mm -hmm. characters. So. Eric. Yep. Uh, so I'm playing Cranberry. Uh, Cranberry uh, is hails from the town of Shaleboro. Uh, notably, uh, his parents were uh, the tavern owners of Shaleboro because Shaleboro is known uh, for its delicious drinks. Um, so I believe they're, uh, they're owners of the most popular establishment like that. So he grew up kind of in the bar setting, kind of like hearing the tales of different mice go through uh, on their travels and journeys. Um, so, so cranberry has, is named for the mythical uh, fruit uh, cranberry uh, that mouse, although never heard, there are stories of. Um, so he, he was named for the color that it was representative of, of his fur. Um, and he has a gold cloak. Uh, that's, that's... Okay. <laughs> He, he, I guess uh, I probably should have something other, like kind of indicative of him. Maybe um, he has a uh, he has like sort of like a white underbelly. Oh, mm, cool! Makes me want to rub his little underbelly. Yeah. <laughs> Glad I didn't have my cat down here. With all the time I'm going to be saying mouse. What? Oh, where? Where? Yeah. I got it. Um. <laughs> so let's talk about guard ranks. Um. As, as you can see on page 300, you get to pick mm -hmm. from different ranks, which also choose what age you are uh, and what skills you get. Um, and starting younger can give you some interesting advantages or disadvantages. So does anyone have an idea of what rank they want to be? And remember, the highest ranking person will be leading the party. Guard mouse. Guard mouse. Okay, Definitely so a that's a second level rank. I was thinking patrol guard. Patrol guard, third level rank. That does it. What are you at, Swarg? I'm I'm tender. You're a tender paw. Okay. Literally so, described my paw. paws earlier as being tender. All right. So yeah, uh, mark true. down. <laughs> as a tender paw, you're a fresh recruit. You have a will score of two, a health score of six. Your skills are. You ready? No. Oh, holy sweet Moses. Yep. <laughs> um, where are where are health skills? Character skill, uh, middle health of health of middle of the sheet. No, I mean I, I can see it on the sheet myself. I okay. Know. Uh, will of two, health of six. Pathfinder two. Okay, I can I can fill this out from here. Okay, I, I'm, I I'm, I'll read it out loud so the audience is like, "What are those cool skills?" Uh, scout two and laborer two. Where's laborer? Uh, laborer is the to ability to do stuff like move yeah, objects no, or carry heavy it things. Heat? Yeah. Okay. So whenever you use a skill, whether you have a success or failure. You begin marking checks, and once you complete a certain number of checks, you'll get a level up in that skill. So if you really like hauling stuff a lot, you could become a laborer. But as a, you know, a spoiled rich mouse, I don't know that you do. Maybe you do. I don't know. You said your paws are tender. Yeah. We'll find out. Uh, guard mouse, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Uh, you have a will of three and a health of five. Yes. Your skills are fighter three. Haggler 2, Scout 2, Pathfinder 3, and Survivalist 2. Yep, that's what I got down. Okay. And our patrol leader, a.k.a. the patrol guard, uh, you have a will of 4, a health of 4. I really love that you pick up Cook 2, <laughs> uh, Fighter 3, <laughs> Hunter 3, Scout 2, Healer 2, Pathfinder 2, Survivalist 2, and Weather Watcher 2. You're very well learned. Very well yeah, learned. the Patrol Guard has a pretty interesting skill. So I like that one. Yeah, yeah, very wide set of skills. Mm -hmm. um, let's see here. Each of you are going to get to choose some skill focuses, I believe, yes. by picking where you were born. Yeah, that's... Uh, Eric, I think you definitely told us where you were born from. Could mm -hmm. you just repeat it so we can figure out what options you have to choose from? So I'm picking Shellboro, yeah. or I said Shellboro, but all of my skills there are Mason, Harvester, and Miller, and none of those are about drinking. But with <laughs> Shellboro, you can pick up Mason, Harvester, and Miller. Yeah, but I was hoping for something about like innkeeping or drinking oh, or, okay. or, co or cooking. Cooking would be from? preferred. Um Ivy Dale has Baker, which is kind of more my my Smith Hagler. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't know. I already said Shaleboro. <laughs> I'm, I'm, afra I'm afraid I'm going to have to recant uh, where I'm from. 
Maybe so I, I mean, lied. Maybe I lied on the floor. Born in Shaleboro, <laughs> but then your your parents gave you to your your uncle and um, aunt. Yeah, who live maybe... in. Ah oh, shit. <laughs> Ivydale. <laughs> I, Ivydale. Okay. I, I, Ivydale. I gotta so be. So you want to pick? Yeah. You you have the option baker. of harvester or baker. I'm gonna be a baker then. And you get the trait hard worker. Yeah. That, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, Swarg, Tux, do you have an interest in where you guys want to be from? I did I'm... Uh, Port Sumac. Okay, so uh, are you taking Boat Crafter or Weather Watcher? I'm taking Weather Watcher. And do you want to be tough or Weather Sensed? I am probably going to be Weather Sensed. If we're... Oh, I'm imagining okay. that uh... that means whatever I think it means. <laughs> uh, we can look it up in just a second. Uh... In fact, why don't you just control F and just type in weather sense until you find the definition of it. Uh, Tux Shradamus, where are you from? Yes. Uh, I am from Spruce Tuck. I'm Spira. going to take scientist and rational. So you're giving up inquisitive and lore mouse, huh? Mm -hmm. But at least we know that you are a mouse of science. Yes. Okay. Aw, oh, damn it. Arthur, Arthur, yeah. can I switch? You want to switch I got, again? I got, yeah, I got go passed. ahead. Min -max I lied, I lied on my form again. I lied on my form <laughs> again. I too want to be from Spruce Tuck because I want Lore Mouse. Of course. Because I turned stories, which fits my character. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's going to be hating me. They're like, fuck it. You're going to get the 4F on your form, man. Yeah. You keep lying. Okay. <laughs> Life experience. So each of you... It's a number of choices to pick on page 303 as to where mm -hmm. they are naturally talented. The tender paw gets to pick two. Everybody else picks one. Uh, so let me know what you want to pick. Uh, we pick two skills from that area, from those that list. Oh, uh, you pick one. Um, tender paw gets two. Got it. On page 303. Yeah. Uh, for okay. Natural talents. Uh, do, 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 I'm a bump up my healer. Okay. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go manipulator. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fancy. And administrator. Ah, interesting. Nice. I was gonna bump up my haggler. All right. Uh, each of you gets to choose your parents' trade. Note the skill next to your parents on your character sheet. Uh, so you will be choosing your parents' names. I believe that's on the sheet, right? Pull it up here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, you choose your parents' names, and then you'll pick the skill that they have, and that'll also bump your skill up. So, uh, who's got what? Who's got what parents, um, I suppose? And what do they do? Oh, shit. Oh, um, stonemason sounds cool. You know, I should be asking, who is your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> who is your daddy and what does he do? What is My the guy? I can't. I can't think Brewer. of the guy's name. The 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 book Arnold with the shifter robe. You know the the shifter robe book from like the fifties. Oh, so um, Ar Harper Lee, To Kill a Mockingbird. Yeah, who's what's That's the guy's the name? Nineteen sixty nine Pulitzer Prize winner. Yeah, Duh. what's what's the guy's name in that? It's oh, like something weird. With <laughs> I only know that it won the Pulitzer. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Prize to Kill a Mockingbird <laughs> characters. I'm taking that name. Uh, Atticus. That's what it is. Oh. Atticus. Well, Atticus, Atticus is okay, the name of her dad. I think yeah. it's Bugs. Is it Bugs? No. Harper Lee. Well, just fucking take Atticus and Harper. What do I care? Okay. Yeah, exactly. Atticus and Harper. All right. And what did Atticus and Harper do? Boo Radley is what I'm thinking uh, of. I would have said, uh, I would say politician, but that's not on here. Um, Scouts. Yeah, Scouts the name of the girl. So, like, cartographer yeah. makes okay. sense to me. All right. I guess. They're Ooh. pretty stupid. They're pretty stupid, but, you know, whatever. Maps. I mean, making maps is an honorable trade. Yeah. Look, maps. Arthur, all trades are honorable. I don't know why, why you got that in your head. You got me there, man. You got me there. <laughs> you got me. Uh, Vera, who are your parents and what do they do? Uh, Gatsby and Leah, and they were stonemasons. And uh, Cranberry. Eric, can you put Cranberry beneath your name on Roll20? That would... I keep looking down there. I'm like, and air cranberry. Bulgaria. What does Bulgaria take you for a skill? <laughs> what is that Eric Bulgaria joke? I hope it never dies. It's not. It's, I, can't, I can't stop. It's so good. I literally can't stop. I can't wait until we do that stream again. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Um, so I only have one parent. Is that okay? 
Yeah. I only have my dad. Okay. Uh, and my dad's name is Radley. And what did Radley do? Uh, Radley is a brewer now, but he is a retired guard mouse. Oh, okay. So Single you're taking dad. them brew. Living on the streets. All right. Uh, oh, he runs a tavern like all former adventurers. <laughs> that is the that is the the guaranteed adventurer retirement package. <laughs> you get, you get a, a free tavern that you have to sit there polishing steins the whole time. <laughs> all right, for the guys. Next, for the next batch. Type mouse in chat real quick. Looks like Geek Dice is starting the contest. I think. Go ahead and type starting them it early. Yeah. Whoa. Maybe. Yeah. I don't crazy know. talk. Let's do it. I think he's just setting it up to like is choose he? a winner. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yes. Like, oh, yeah. He's getting all right. All right. My more. bad. I don't Do want it. to jump the gun there. All yeah, right. I'll enter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so each of you will get uh, one pick here. Uh, what do you do to convince others you're right or need to do? Manipulator, orator, or persuader? I'm really interested in the answer to this. Manipulator. Easy, easy. Okay. Well, mine goes up to level two now. Really powerful. Yeah. Pretty useless hmm. though. We'll see. Vera, what do you do? Orator. Cranberry? Ah, uh, I can't pick Haggle. Nope. <laughs> you could persuade uh, somebody to Haggle. Yeah, persuade. Why is complaining down there? Yeah. Why? That's what my, that's what my <laughs> ex did. Is, 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 is changing. Her. Tired. <laughs> Being it's super old. passive aggressive. Like, oh, that's fine. That's fine. We don't we didn't need that grain. That's fine. <laughs> All right, fine, I'll get the grain. Got it. <laughs> Is okay. <that> trip? <laughs> so next up, you pick your senior artisan. Uh, when you first joined the guard, you were given a job underneath an experienced guard mouse who uh, taught you to do something to support the guard. And so you need to list what that person's name is and what they taught you in. Uh, so, for instance, like apiarist, if you were a beekeeper or stonemason. Uh, so do you guys have cool characters that you can call on later? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And don't forget, I'm uh, Dwarf, don't forget to list what skill your parents have as well, not just their... Where do you list? Where would you list that? You just, just next to it. I would put, like, a dash and then... Um, fuck, what did I say? Um... Cartographer. Yeah. Made maps. Uh, right, the noble trade. Yeah, I, I think that's pretty noble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so who had a senior mm -hmm. artisan, and what did they do? Cool. Uh, uh, my, my, my senior artisan is named Barnabas, and uh, he was a healer. Okay. Um, so I think um, I was responsible for being sort of like shadowing him, so a lot of the bookwork. Kind of like uh, what Jon Snow had to do with shit. Yep. In, on the wall, you know what I mean? That aide de camp, I believe, is the proper term. But uh, aide, <laughs> aide de camp of uh, yeah, steward. Yeah. I wrote uh, everybody's uh, fucking correspondence. That's what I, that's all I did. Just writing all the time. Is this is this a trait or is it a? Uh, it's on page three hundred four. It's a skill yeah. from the list. Yep. Man, you could mid max this so hard to be like the best carpenter that's ever lived. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Having a seven carpenter. Um, I'm, a, I'm a manipulating carpenter. When, when, uh, I'm Flo, Jesus. when Flo the Progressive went to uh, Jesus Mouse. Haven, uh she she was uh, immediately put under the tutelage of B. Anse. And uh, I am I'm glad you're taking this very seriously. B. B. Anse. I don't she's an apiarist? Archivist. Archivist, okay. I don't understand what your problem is. Oh, I didn't see that on the list. Shit. That would have been good for me. Oh, that's fine. Uh, Vera. I'm a medical mouse. Um, I trained under Thad, who was a... Let's see what it's going to take. Uh, blah, 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 cook. Okay. So he taught me more stuff about cooking stuff. All right. After your apprenticeship, you were assigned to a mentor. This guard mouse slowly introduces their tender paw to patrolling and other guard duties. The tender paw's jaw is to do labor and grunt work so the mentor's paws and mine are free for facing the dangers they encounter. Uh, each guard mouse is trained by a mentor. Patrol leaders pick two, all others choose one skill. Uh, and you can pick someone in the party as your mentor as long as they're higher ranking than you, I think. Uh, so for instance, Swarg, you could be mentored to Cranberry or Vera. 
What are you guys? What are you guys kind of skilled in? I'm trying to remember. Um, healing, and haggling, so healing, haggling, and, and then um, what is uh, kinda... Vera? Vera, what are you? Yeah. But you, uh, you're, you're, you're uh, yeah. I was doing. Um, she was a like trying to focus on like keeping people alive. She's a healer. She knows how to like. Wait, do so a lot you're of both side healers. Stuff. I guess That's important. Yeah. <laughs> Could this Maybe be like this my is mission like a reserve choose? medical team. So man. like. I'm basically. I want to play a bard. Like basically, is what I'm trying to play. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm trying to play I'm, the. Uh, I can talk stuff. I'm gonna choose cranberry <laughs> because he's beautiful. And, um, okay. Okay. What did cranberry <laughs> teach you? Oh, he boy. taught me that white <laughs> underbellies are sexy. I mean, yep. what trait did he teach you? <laughs> what skill did he teach you? I didn't know you were taking this realistically. Um, Nine. Uh, eight. You made choices. Is trained by a mentor. I have. Eight choices. Uh, I hate to min max, but I feel like I sh I'm shit unless I take Weather Watcher again, even though it's okay. probably the most useless skill that exists. Oh, Weather Watcher is no, really good. No, not really. It's what? it's really good. I think you can use Weather Watcher to just be like, okay, this is what the weather's gonna be. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're done. And, then and I then can't like, be like, oh, and then there no was effect. a thunderstorm and you die. I mean, I yeah. guess kind of. It stops. Remember that thunderstorms from ice cool. will literally pick you up and blow you away. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> So yeah. I have a very good skill at checking something that happens like a thousand, one in a thousand days. Cartography is a dark art. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do the de do, man. Uh, Vera, who is your mentor? I should say, who is your mentor? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I need a cool you can name. Still call upon this person later. Yeah. Um, can they be the see. same as your artisan? I don't see why not. It's okay, like I think so. Yeah, can't be. Crap, the names left me. But um, they taught me uh survival. Okay. I will get a name in a second. All right, and uh, cranberry. Uh, Barnabas uh gave me um instructor. Oh, interesting. He taught you how to teach the meta you. skill. Yeah, very which important. Which is why <laughs> I can how to learn. Why, well, he knew that I had to look out for uh for Swarg. Sorry. He was like, well, one day you will have to teach someone. I will teach you <laughs> to teach. I will teach you to teach. Very important skill. Uh, each of you now gets to pick a specialty except for Swarg. Blow uh, <laughs> does not get one because she is a tender paw. Wah, wah. No two players can have the same skill as their speciality. Increase your um, rating in that skill, and then mark it on your sheet. I don't know. I'm thinking is. healer for me. Okay. Instructor for me. Uh, find some way to like mark it. Uh, that that's a uh. Yeah, the sheet Maybe doesn't put really. put like a star next to it. Can that instructor? Very well. Uh, now we ask questions about mouse nature. I'm going to ask Ooh. all of you the questions collectively. You give your answers, and then I will tell you what skills you adjust as a result of them. Mm -hmm. All of you will begin with a base nature of three. So write down that you have a mouse nature of three out of three. Okay. Uh, do you save for the winter, even if it means going without something now, or do you use what you have when you need it? Use what you have when you need it. Okay. I do not save. You use what you have? Yes. My yeah, my father taught me to save for winter. All right. If you save for winter, increase your nature <laughs> by one. That means you are a more mousy mouse. The better your nature, the more like a mouse you are. <clears throat> if you do not save, you may take bold, generous, or impetuous at level one as a trait. Awesome. Uh, so what are you guys picking? I'm taking bold. Swarg is still scatting out. Are we picking our trait now? He's still scatting. Uh, I mean, they they get to pick the trait as part of the nature. Oh, I thought that just gives you the option when you actually go select your trait. Oh, I'm sorry. You're correct. That's right. Yes, you're right. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> My bad. Uh, when confronted, do you stand your ground and fight or do you run and hide? Run and hide. I I run and hide, yeah. I stand my ground. Okay. If you run and hide, increase your nature by one. Decrease your starting fighter skill if you have it by one. 
if you do not run, leave fighter and nature as they are. So some That's of right. you are getting pretty naturey. Uh, do yeah. you fear owls, weasels, and wolves? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's a big Absolutely. 10 for. Nature again. Okay. Yep. If you do n increase your nature by one. My nature is six. Is this bad? <laughs> if you do not, take the fearless, brave, or foolish trait. I mean, we have to get to ten, right? There's no way you can get to ten in one session. No. Uh, That's fine. I can invoke my nature when I when I have, I have the um. Yeah, you have yeah, persona, yeah, persona point, right? Yeah, when I have the persona. Yep. You'll start with a persona point, I believe. Okay. Uh, each of you gets a special set of abilities known as wises. These yeah, allow wises. you to participate in a role without suffering the consequences, aiding your allies. Uh, so these are used to help other people rather than yourself. Uh, tender paws will start with one wise, but must choose one of the following: code of the guard wise or legends of the guard wise. So which one would you like to take, Flo? Um. Uh, code of the guard wise or, or legends of the guard wise? Code, I guess. Okay. So you're you're about like reading and following rules and stuff like that, I think, perhaps. Which is yeah. good for an insurance adjuster. <laughs> when you say code of the guard wise, you're literally like tax code of the guard. Does this, does this become a, a skill? Uh, it is a wise, so yes. Does it under the. They're a wise? No. On the sheet? I was putting it under traits. Yeah, I would put it under traits too. Uh, yep, traits is a good solid one. Uh, all right, guard mouse, you get to pick one wise and where do you where do you put the wises? Uh, traits. Okay, cool. Um, definitely grabbing open ground wise. Oh, nice. Uh, my parents, you know, were brewers and like we and we had a ship, so we had to like transport stuff around and we heard things like we know how to. We hear we know what we need to do when you're traveling, <laughs> right? It's not our, it's not our yeah. first time up above ground. Okay. Vera. Um. I am taking medicine wise. And. Let's see here. Oh, that one's cool. I would have selected medicine wise if I didn't choose that one. Good choice. I'm taking epidemic wise. Wow. Wow. All right. <clears throat> now we put uh, some of the more interesting skills into your play. Uh, we do your resources. Resources represents your pay, but also your resourcefulness and how clever you are with possessions and material goods. Uh, tender paws begin with resources one. Guard mice begin with resource two. And patrol guard begin with resource three. Uh, and circles represents how well connected you are. Uh, so you can roll circles to have a character show up to help you. Or eventually, probably, not be your friend. As we have the enmity clause. Uh, tender paws begin with circles rating of 1. Guard mice begin with a rating of 2. And patrol guard begin with a rating of 3. Mm -hmm. Each of you now get to pick... One or two traits. Is that what this says? You can choose a variety of traits. Each of you gets to check one from the list. To You can either reinforce your hometown trait or choose a new one. Uh, and that is on page 308. Does everybody have How many can we mind? choose? Just one. Just one. Sorry. Another new one? We get another yes. trait? Uh, or we can double can, down on our existing You can double down one, right? and get a second yeah. rank in it. Second trait of the same kind? <laughs> yeah, so you could get like bold yep. twice to be super bold. So, so invoking a trait, uh, just so you know, like mechanically, invoking a trait means uh, you're able if it's applicable, you get an extra die for that roll. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can only do that once per session. Um, if you have, if you double down, then you can do it twice per session. You goddamn know I'm tripled down on manipulator. I figured. Uh, I figured you were, and that's what I mean. I didn't want to guide. These you. are uh, traits, not you. skills. I just wanted you to know. Yeah, it's the it's one a, thing a, I got. It's a trait, not a skill. Uh, you oh, need to pick I, from thought the, I thought I thought manipulating. Anyway. Yeah, you need to pick from page three hundred eight. You could take a. Tr um, let's see. There's probably there's probably a trait about manipulating. Uh, almost. There's exactly. extrovert. Uh. Yeah, I'm taking extrovert. Extrovert. I'm absolutely a social mouse. Uh, so, 
Thank Calling on a trait at level one gives you one die bonus to a test appropriate to the trait before the roll is made. Describe how the trait is influencing the character's actions. Uh, you can only do that once per session. So, Swarg, did you pick on a trait for Blow the Progressive? What? Did I pick a trait? Did you pick uh, a trait? Yeah, I, I doubled, I tripled down on Manipulator. Uh, manipulator is not a trait, it's a skill. Wait, now it's a skill? No, it, it's been a skill the whole time. So now I put it, instead of trait, when it was in the trait section, I put it down to skill. You should have... I'm very confused. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'll just... I don't know what's happening then. Uh, sweet. Uh, modify, delete. Cool. So manipulator's down here, and it was... Right. Okay. So I have manipulator, or whatever that means. Administrator's probably down there, too, in weather sense as well? Uh, yes, those are all going to be skills. Weather sense is different from weather watcher. Yes. Okay. Weather sense is a trait, and weather watcher is a skill. That's why I put weather sense in the trait section. Yes. But then when I asked weather if sense it's a is skill, a trait. Yep. you said it goes down in the skill section. So now you're just going back on what you just said. So which one is it? Weather sense is a trait. So it stays in the trait section. Weather yeah. watcher. Man manipulator is a skill. Weather Watcher is a skill. Weather Sense is a trait. An Administrator is also a trait. It's a skill. Okay. Almost everything we've discussed so far is going to be a skill. You've definitely interchanged those words a few times on me. Um, That's possible. It's <laughs> Star Wars all over again. Um, what are, so what was your question now? What trait would you like to pick from page 308? 308. What trait, what quality were you born with? Yep. You mean quality. Don't use the word trait for this. It's, it's a trait. Okay. It is a trait. It's Only under one. mouse. It is technically under the giant thing that says mouse traits. I am going to take Welcome something. Welcome to loot games. Am I right? I'm going to take cunning, I think. All right. Cool. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, Tender Paul, you get an additional trait. Choose something you inherited or learned from your parents. So that's on the next page, page 309. Mm -hmm. um, what's the difference between quick-witted and clever? What is the quicker? difference between slender and slim, bro. <laughs> Those synonyms? Uh, that's a shout-out to my boy Patrick Rothfuss right there. God. Hashtag killing kings. Hashtag... Fantasy writing. Awful. Anyway. I've, heard, um, I've heard your idea of good fantasy writing, and if it starts with George R. R. Martin at the top, get it out. Does, does, <laughs> does. Anyway. Uh, clever. Clever. All right. Do you have clever twice, then? Or just once? <laughs> no, you took cunning. I have clever and cunning. All right. Okay, cool. Three of my traits are start with All C's. Right. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, we have everybody's fur color and everybody's parents. Mm -hmm. I think we've got everything but your enemy and friend. Friends and enemies, yay. Yeah, let's pick some friends and enemies, and then those of you that have cloaks, let's get the color. So we just pick random names? Uh, I mean, yeah, you can pick random names, but uh, just remember, these people might show up later. So if you want your enemy's name to be Geico... It might turn out to be an actual gecko. I mean, we're doing a one-shot, so I think I'm going to gamble on this. <laughs> Listen, uh... I said we were going to do a Warren one-shot, and now we got a third episode coming up. So, Darth Vader. Yeah, don't, don't commit to anything you're not willing to own. <laughs> really? You want your enemy's name to be Darth Vader? No, that was, of course, my friend. Are you kidding me? Can you want to make an enemy of him. Can you make it Vader? <laughs> I would prefer yeah. not to have to pay Lucasfilm's money every five <laughs> seconds. Yeah, Swark. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to agree here. Come on, I'm cool. With the uh, I mean Beyonce, I, I can let it slide, but not not. not it's be on say. I know, like I can. I'm, I'm, I know. I'm just gonna call her B the whole time. Yeah, of course. That's her first I wanna, name. I want to I want to maintain some sort of degree of verisimilitude her, here. Her second name is on say. You guys are yeah. Really no, that's word, what I mean. I know. That's I'm just fine. trying to come up with a friend name. Um. I know Tux is having problems with this. Here, we'll... what? Tux. Tux is huh. a good word. Enemy. Oh. 
No, that you're a friend. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Enemy. Uh, are you sure you want to call upon Vera as a friend? Because these friends are people you can. No, you no, can, like, my friend's name is Tux. Oh, okay. All right, got it, I'm got Vera. it. All right. So these are people that when you find them, you can call upon them. Um, make sure you pick a city and a speciality that each of these people have. So find where they are from and what What's, they do. What, Wait, it, where would is we is speciality a type of like mechanical thing or can we just make something up? Profession. So yeah, I mean like barrel maker or brewer or mm -hmm. bard. Oh, cool. So bard, I, bard is an see, actual was, profession. Like, there was a bard in Legend of the Mouse Guard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I was writing gambler storyteller. <laughs> and I was like, oh, Bart. When Benny said Bart, I was like, oh, that's way easier to write. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> that, that encompasses everything <laughs> I wanted. So thank you. Okay. I think uh, the Bard had one of the best songs. I mean, it, it was literally a rhyming song scheme for uh, The Flood. That was a pretty sweet Legend in the Mouse Guard song. Uh, there you go. You got, some, you got some good professions. There you go. So. Hey. Let's see. Is everybody just spamming the word mouse right now? Yeah, they're signing up the <laughs> indexes. Okay, yes, all right. As long as it's... Uh, psh, I'm not following along very well, then. I just keep seeing the word mouse every few minutes. <laughs> um, everyone has a friend, correct? Let's hear about those friends. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I mean, I already, I already mentioned mine a little bit. Uh, so my friend is going to be Kebble. Uh, Kebble is, it hails from Port Cermak. But, um, but Kebble could be found in any kind of local bar or tavern or establishment. He is a bard, and he's known for gambling and making up wacky games that he wants to pitch on other people and get mice to try. Cool. And where is he from? Uh, he, he, his hometown is Port Sumac. All right, excellent. Uh, Vera, friend. Uh, his name is Boris, and he's a brewer in Lockhaven. Boris um, the Brewer. Yes, Boris the Brewer. Uh, there was a little issue with some uh, bad, with a bad brew at his tavern. And I like treated the people and kind of helped get them back to being like, no, it's okay now. We can go back. So he, he's, a very, he's appreciative. How dank was that brew? <laughs> was it was it pretty bad. Some, uh, some stuff got some some uh, some insects got into it and just kind of oh. ruined the whole thing and oh, people got man. yeah it was a whole, it was a whole big thing, but uh, we you took know care those of it. Beetles they just get everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Swarg, tell us about Flo's friend. Uh, Flo's friend, uh, his name is Tux. Yep. And he is a con man from Elmos. <laughs> con man from Elmos. All right. Do any of you want to have an enemy? Trouble. I have, yeah. An, yeah. I have an enemy. I have it. Yep. All right. Same deal. Up. Let's talk about your enemies. We don't get a um this this gives you no mechanical benefit, right? So uh, I want to make sure you the I'll... opposite of a mechanical benefit. You can still call upon your enemy through a circles test cuz you are <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I know. I just, I wanted to make sure I don't have to tally something else on this sheet nope. that I was missing. Nope. You get no, okay, no cool. extra skill or anything. Yep. Cool. So who are um, your enemies? Good to know them. My enemy's name is Gigasaur, and he is a guard captain in Lockhaven. Oh, how did you make such Snap. an enemy? Uh, you know, uh, when you're like a psychiatrist and you can see through uh, like a, a serial killer's kind of fakeness, he's that guy. You can see through your <laughs> fakeness or you can see through his? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm manipulator four. Okay, all right. So, yeah, he's like, this chick is bad news. When everyone else is like, oh, we love you, he's like, no, you're the worst. Because uh, really, I am the oh. worst. I've got it now. You're obviously Triple H. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah. I nailed it. Um, I, okay. I don't get the reference. Okay. The, I had a, I had a personality right, so as a right. child. You're not a professional wrestling fan. Sorry. Right. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's hear about some more enemies. My enemy is Gilly. Uh, Gilly is a scorn. Uh, it's actually it's a girl. So, that son of a, you're that... still starting off on the wrong on the right. wrong gender. You tell me more uh, about Gilly. Pejorative here. 
So, so Gilly, Gilly is my scorned lover. Um, she was like sort of my mouse high school sweetheart. Um, she was the girl that like we would like play and uh, tussle down hills with, right? Um, like outside like the bar and things like that. Um, however, then I was like, oh, but no, this can't be serious. I have to, I have to go. I have to go be a, an important guard mouse and be a total dick. And now I realized that I kind of regretted it and left her there. Um, and Perfect. it's just really bad. I feel really, 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 really shitty about it. Like I'm at the point of life <laughs> where I realized that idealism and that kind of stuff was, is not true. And, uh, that's, and I realized just, I'm kind of, I want to make amends and figure out who I actually, who I am. Uh, is is my goal for this character? So yeah, well, you're a monster. You had yeah. true love in your hands, and you I did, and I and I threw it away. Yeah, oh Jeez. yeah, I know. This is a big part of my character. Is like true I'm love, man. The dread guard I wanna, Roberts. To real. Uh, can can I make my belief actually something like uh, don't trust my first instinct because I'm an <laughs> asshole? <laughs> uh, I mean, I think that would probably be a good way to get a little bit of fate at the end. Oh. Yeah, pretty meta. <laughs> yeah, I mean, never you, would, you would never get. You would no, never um, always get your instinct, or you would never get your instinct. No, I, I, I <laughs> no, I have, I have my instinct down, but no, I, I know what my belief is. Um, no, it, it's actually, it ties into that. It's, it's, um, I don't know. Are we, we're, I'll talk about when we get to. Yeah, breaks. yeah, we'll, we'll get to it when we come back from break. Yeah. Uh, last thing we do before break is we're going to talk to Adam here and, and learn who Vera's enemy is. Uh, her name is Delilah. She is a. Delilah. Guard mouse in Ivydale. She's kind of like the, like I guess I'm kind of interjecting story stuff, but like I'm assuming like like there's like a guard mouse that kind of like sticks around in the towns for yeah. random reasons. Sure, um, she's kind of the like resident guard mouse of Ivydale, and like it's not that good of a position because uh, like we're about the same age. We kind of like rose through the ranks together, and then um, she was going to lead a mission, and I was like, that's a really terrible idea. Because she wanted to go uh, out to the scent, the scent border, like there was like a weasel problem, and she wanted to go like face it head on, and I was like, no, that's not a good idea. You shouldn't do that. And um, it's kind of a she failed, and so she blames me for her failure. Yeah, I'm all, I'm deep in this character already. I'm yeah, just like oh, Vera, I thought you had my back, girl. Totally. I yeah. went out there, weasels <laughs> killed my second in command. <laughs> it was weasel hawk down out there all right uh we're about an hour in guys we're gonna take a break we're gonna come back we're gonna finish character creation and then we're gonna start the gm turn awesome i mess with everybody so we'll be Happy. back in five minutes for some mousy mouseness yay cool <laughs> 